Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Squad Builder Shoutouts. And in today's episode, I am bringing you a 100k hybrid, a 200k hybrid, and a 300k hybrid. So as always, if you guys can drop a like on this video, I would hugely appreciate that. And if you are new to the channel, why not consider subscribing? So without any further ado, we are going to jump straight into our first Squad Builder Shoutout. And it comes from I... PD who says 100k team with Vinicius Jr. So the formation I have chose is 4-3-3 in brackets 5. So kicking things off in between the sticks we have actually got the 83 rated Jordan Pickford and I think this guy is a solid goalkeeper to go with. Uh, I've not really got any complaints. I think he's got pretty well rounded decent stats. So yeah overall I thought he did a good enough job for me in between the sticks. So moving on now to the right back position and we have got the 78 rated Dumfries and I was very impressed with this guy, very overpowered in game, 80 pace, 87 physicality, two really good stats. So uh, yeah, I would recommend this guy, definitely worth uh, getting in your team. So moving on now to the two central defenders, we are going to start off on the right hand side with the 80 rated Joe Gomez. This guy is a really OP centre back on this game, 81 pace is the main stat. Of course, it's really important to have pace in the defence and Joe Gomez has definitely got that. So alongside him in the centre-back position, we have got the 87 rated Toby Alderweireld. And Alderweireld does lack a little bit of pace, but I think he makes up for it with his 88 defending. Really good positional play and uh, yeah, I think this guy is a, a solid centre-back to have in your team. So moving on now to the left back position and we have got the 77 rated Lodi and I think this guy will do a good enough job for you in the left back position. He's nothing sensational but I think he, like I say, he'll do a good enough job uh, so yeah that's why I went with him in the team. So moving on to the CDM position and we have actually got a central midfielder in the 81 rated Ndombele and this guy actually really impressed me. I used him as the left central midfielder in game and going forwards this guy is great. He actually got me two goals and one assist in two matches so very nice return and uh, you can actually get his ones to watch by doing the uh, start of objectives so if you own his ones to watch, of course, stick him in there. If not, just get his normal gold card. But yeah, very impressed with him. One of the standout players in the team. So moving on to the left central midfield position. And we've actually got a CDM in the team and it is going to be Thiago Mendes. This guy was playing as the CDM in game. I just swapped him and Ndombele around. And as a defensive midfielder, I really like this guy. I think he's very overpowered. So uh, yeah, definitely worth getting in your team. So moving on to the right central midfield position and we have got the 84 rated Genie Wijnaldum and I'm a big fan of this guy. I think he's a very complete box-to-box -box midfielder. No real weakness to his game. He can defend. He's good going forward. So yeah, worth getting Wijnaldum in the team. So we are moving on now to the right wing position and we've got an 82 rated player called Burjwinge. I think that's how you say his name. No idea how you do pronounce it. But I was impressed with this guy. One goal, two assists in two matches. A very nice return. He's got good pace, good dribbling. So, yeah, worth getting in the team. So, we're moving on to the left wing position. And, of course, we have got the requested player in Vinicius Jr. Now, uh, everyone does get given Vinicius Jr.'s loan card at the start. So, that's why uh, I put his loan card in this team. And, yeah, I do like this guy. Great pace, great dribbling, five-star skills. So, yeah, useful player to have in the side. So, in the centre-forward position now, we have got the 84-rated Memphis Depay. And I'm a big fan of Depay. I think he plays really well on uh, FIFA 20. He got two goals and one assist in two matches, so a nice return. And I do actually like using him as a centre forward. I feel he plays that position very well. So as you can see there, every player is on at least eight chemistry. If you converted all the players to the correct position and then played 10 matches with the team, every player would be on 10 chemistry. So as I mentioned before, I would just swap Ndombele and Mendes around like that in game. So we're moving on to the custom tactics and uh, these are the custom tactics I've been using for quite a while. So you can use them if you want to or use your own. It's up to you really. So moving on to the play instructions for Junior, I would tell him to cut inside, get in behind and get into the box for a cross. For Depay, players are false nine and for Burge Winge, uh, stay wide, get in behind, get into the box for a cross. 
For Genie Wijnaldum, I would just tell him to cover the centre, and uh, I would just tell Ndombele to cover the centre as well. And then Thiago Mendes cut past the lanes, drop between defenders and cover the centre. And I do like to tell my fullbacks to stay back while attacking as well. So those are the play instructions for this 100k team. So overall for a 100k team, I think this team is very solid. Defensively, really good. The midfield had a very nice balance to it, very good energy. And going forwards, there's definitely a lot of pace and skill in that attack. So uh, yeah, hopefully IPD, the team will do well for you in game. Okay, so we are now moving on to our second squad builder shout out. And it does come from James with uh, James being spelled with a Q instead of an A. Uh, so yeah, the comment is 200k team with Brandt and Delaney. So the formation I have chose is 4-3-3 in brackets four. So kicking things off in between the sticks, we have got the 85 rated Glacy. I think that's how you say his name. Again, not too sure how you pronounce this guy's name either. But what I am sure about is this guy's a very solid goalkeeper to have in between the sticks. Six foot four, good reflexes, handling, positioning. I thought he was very good for me. So uh, yeah, definitely recommend getting him in goal. So moving on to the right back position and we have got the 84 rated Cesar Aspilicueta. And I do like Aspilicueta as a right back. Uh, yes, he does lack a bit of pace, but I think he is very solid defensively. Uh, so yeah, I've not really got any complaints. I think Aspilicueta did a solid job for me in this team. So moving on now to the two central defenders, starting on the right hand side with the 85 rated Sul. And I really like this guy, a very strong and powerful centre back. And he's actually got a ridiculous stat. He's got 87 sprint speed, which is insane. So he can catch up with a lot of very fast players on the game when he eventually gets going. So yeah, this guy really good in game. So alongside him in the centre back position, we have got the 79 rated Kanate. Very OP defender on the game, 78 pace, 8 defending, 78 physicality. So yeah, I thought him and Saul were a very solid centre-back partnership. So moving on to the left-back position, we've got the 82-rated Schlutz. And I really like this guy. I think he's a really reliable left-back on the game. He's good going forward, solid defensively. So yeah, very impressed with him. So moving on to the left central midfield position and we have got our first requested player and it's going to be the 82 rated Delaney. This guy's got a great card on this game. Really solid defensively having 83 defending, 82 physicality. He's pretty decent on the ball and uh, very cheap and affordable as well. So definitely worth getting in your team. So moving on to the cam position and we have got the other requested player in the 84 rated Julian Brandt. I was really impressed with this guy. I think he's an absolutely sensational cam to have on the game. He's got very good pace, nice dribbling, good passing, pretty good shooting as well. So yeah, definitely worth giving this guy a try. So moving on to the right central midfield position, we have got the 87 rated Thiago. And I do like Thiago. I think he's a very good midfielder. 90 dribbling and 85 passing are two really good stats. He also has five-star skills, which is very useful. So yeah, I do like Thiago and he's not too expensive either considering uh, he is an 87 rated central midfielder. So moving on to the right wing position, we've got the 82 rated Willian. And Willian might not be the winger that he used to be a few years ago, but I still think he's a very solid option to go with. He's got 85 pace 85 dribbling 80 passing he has got some nice stats so uh, yeah William definitely still a usable wing on the game for sure so moving on now to the left wing position and we have got the magician that is Felipe Coutinho and I didn't really get the best out of him in this team but I am a big fan of Coutinho I do normally play very well with him he's got 90 dribbling which is a great start five star skills He's got really good long shots as well. So, uh, yeah, Coutinho, definitely a player worthy of uh, getting into this team. So, we're moving on to the striker position now. We've actually got the 82-rated Gabriel Jesus. And uh, this guy, a really overpowered striker, as he always seems to be on FIFA. Two goals, one assist in two matches. Very nice return. And, uh, yeah, Jesus gets your goals. So, that's the main thing you want from a striker. 
So as you can see there, every player's on at least eight chemistry. Again, if you converted all the players to their correct positions and then played 10 matches with the team, every player would be on 10 chemistry. So uh, you can actually do quite a few things with this team in terms of what formation to play. Uh, I actually went with the formation 4-3-3. Uh, in brackets two so I would use Brandt as a central midfielder with Thiago as the other central midfielder and then Delaney as the CDM so we're moving on to the custom tactics and they are the same as the other squad so we're going to skip straight to the play instructions for Coutinho I would just tell him to cut inside get in behind get into the box for cross Jesus I would just tell him to get in behind stay forwards William stay wide get in behind get into the box for cross for Brandt, I would tell him to get into the box cross and to cover the centre. I would tell Thiago to do the exact same as Julian Brandt. And then for Delaney, cut the passing lanes, drop between the defenders and then cover the centre. And as always, I do like to tell my fullbacks to just stay back while attacking as well. So those are the play instructions for this 200k team. So overall for a 200k team, I think this team is very solid. I think going forwards, there's a lot of goals and creativity in this attack. So uh, yeah, it did well for me and hopefully James, it will do well for you in game and you'll be able to get quite a few wins with this team. Okay, so we are now moving on to our third and final shout out and it comes from Joel Breen who keeps it short and sweet, just says 300k squad. So the formation I have chose is 4-2-3-1 with the three cams. So kicking things off in between the sticks, we have got the 84 rated Stefan Ruffier. This guy seems to have the same card every year on FIFA and I always think he's a solid option to go between the sticks. He's nothing sensational but he'll definitely do a good enough job for you. So moving on to the right back position we have got the 82 rated Thomas Munier and I think this guy is a very solid reliable right back to use. Uh, he's very good going forward, solid defensively, so yeah, no complaints from really a uh, good player. So we're moving on now to the two central defenders, starting off on the right-hand side with the 86 Marquinhos. I was really impressed with this guy, probably one of the best centre-backs I've used so far. He was really aggressive, won the ball back, so yeah, very impressed with him, definitely worth using. So alongside him in the centre-back position, we have got Samuel Umtiti and uh, he's got an 86 rated card. I thought this guy was okay. He didn't really impress me too much though. I thought Marquinhos was definitely the better centre-back out of these two, but still a good enough option to go if he's got pretty decent pace, very nice defending, good physicality as well. So yeah, he is a good centre-back, but I thought Marquinhos was a lot better than Umtiti. I felt Umtiti was a little bit slow. I don't know why I just did feel that. But yeah, moving on to the left back position, we have got Firpo. And uh, this guy's actually a very good left back on this game, I think. 85 pace, very nice. 75 defending, 76 physicality. Six foot tall as well. So yeah, I, I like this guy. I thought he did a good job in game. So moving on now to the left CDM. And we have got a central midfielder who goes by the name of Rabiot. A very good all-round midfielder, really. He can defend. He's good on the ball. Nice dribbling. And, uh, yeah, overall, I thought he did a good enough job. Very tall as well, being six foot four. So we're moving on to the right CDM position. And we have got the 83-rated Adrisha Gay. And I'm a big fan of this guy. I would say he plays very similar to N'Golo Kante. He's very good at cutting the pass lanes, winning the ball back. He's got very good energy in-game. So an important player in the team. So moving on now to the central cam and we have got the 88 rated Paolo Dybala. One of the standout players in this team in my opinion. Uh, very good dribbling, he's got pretty good pace, really good long shots, uh, nice passing as well. So yeah, very good cam to use on this game. So moving on to the right cam position, we have got the 85 rated Alejandro Gomez. A useful player to have in the team. He's got nice pace and dribbling, good passing. Uh, didn't really offer too many goals or assists for me, but yeah, I think he can get those. Uh, maybe on another day, I would have scored a few goals with this guy. But yeah, a useful player to have in the team, and uh, that's why I've put him in there. So moving on now to the left cam position, we've actually got a centre forward. It is going to be the 87 rated Insigne, and I was really impressed with this guy. Uh, very good pace and dribbling, 85 passing as well, he's pretty good and his finishing is a lot better on this FIFA compared to previous FIFAs. Uh, I think his finishing has been upgraded so yeah, Insigne definitely a player I would recommend having in your team. 
So we're moving on now to the striker position and I have decided to go with the 85 rated Romelu Lukaku. And this was my first time using Lukaku on FIFA 20 and I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit disappointed with him. I normally do play quite well with Lukaku but he seems to be lacking a bit of pace and he just feels a bit sluggish on the ball really. Uh, so yeah, Lukaku... Didn't really do too great for me, but the good news is you can actually go with any Serie A striker. So there are quite a few options if you don't want to go with Lukaku. So uh, as you can see there, every player is on at least eight chemistry. If you converted all the players again to the correct positions, played 10 matches with the team, every player would be on 10 chemistry. So we're moving on to the custom tactics and the actual custom tactics are the same as the other two squads. So for the player instructions, I just told Lukaku to stay forwards. Then for all three of the cams, get into the box for cross and to free roam. And then for Adrisha Gay, cut pass nine, stay back while attacking, cover the centre. I would tell Rabiot to do the exact same as Adrisha Gay. And I told both the fullbacks to stay back while attacking. So those are the play instructions for this 300k team. So overall for a 300k team, I think this team really does play very well. I thought the three cams in particular linked up very nicely. They've all got really good pace and dribbling. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, Joel, this team will do well for you in-game and uh, you'll be able to get quite a few wins with this team. So, guys, those are all three squads. Don't forget to rate every team out of five. Let me know what you thought of them. And if you could put more suggestions for squad builders you want me to make, I would hugely appreciate that. You could be in with the chance of featuring in the next episode of Squad Builder Shoutouts. But anyway, guys, that is just going to be about it from me for today. So I'll catch you in the next video.